Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to express this fraction as its partial fractions. We are given x divided by x plus 1 squared times x minus 2 squared. We should split this fraction by using the factors that we have. Firstly, we can see that we have x plus 1 squared. Should we take x plus 1? or x plus 1 squared. Consider something over 16. We can express this as a series by using something over 2 plus something over 4 plus something over 8 plus something over 16. All these are possible to make up to 16. This is because we know that 1 times 16 is equal to 16, 2 times 8 is equal to 16, 4 times 4 equal to 16. So which means that all these here are the factors of 16. But why don't we take something over 1? This is because we should remember that when we express as a series of fraction, all of them must be proper fraction. Proper fraction means that the numerator must be always less than the denominator. In other words, if we have 1 as the denominator, the number that less than 1, which is 0. So if we take 0 over 1, 0 divided by anything, we get back 0. So which means that this has no values in other words. So we don't have to consider 1 at all for all the times. And we should take starting from the smallest factor up to the factor itself, as we can see here. By using the same idea, the first factor should result in two factors, namely x plus 1 and also x plus 1 squared. Next, we should have x minus 2 and x minus 2 squared. And now let's consider the numerator. Since this is linear form, 1 degree lower is a constant, so we use constant. For the second, we should not consider the square here, but we take the smallest factor that we have at the denominator part, so which is linear. Numerator, constant. This one, also constant. For the next one, also constant. And now, let's times the entire equation by the denominator of the left-hand side. So we times x plus 1 square times x minus 2 squared. And now let's simplify. So which means that for the left hand side, we left only x. Since we cancel, 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 and left only x. And this is equal to a cancel 1 of x plus 1. So we left 1 x plus 1 and we times x minus 2 squared. Next we have b. So cancel x plus 1 squared left x minus 2 squared. And for C, we have x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. D times x plus 1 squared. Next, let's solve for the unknowns. I'm going to substitute when x is equal to negative 1. Since when we substitute x is equal to negative 1, this can be eliminated since minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. 0 times anything, we get back 0. So this part gone this part gone and this part gone. So we left only this. So which means that the left hand side is equal to negative 1 and this is equal to b times negative 1 minus 2 which is minus 3 and we take square. And on the first b is equal to negative 1 divided by minus 3 square which is negative 1 over 9. And we can now substitute when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, this gone since 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Again, anything times 0, we get back 0. So for the left hand side, we have 2. And this is equal to this also gone, gone, and we left only d. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And we have 3 squared. So d is equal to 2 divided by 3 squared, which is 9.
Next, let's simply substitute any value that we like since regardless what value we take, we are not able to eliminate any dummies anymore. So I'm going to let x be equal to 0. So the left hand side is equal to 0 and for the right hand side we have a times 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Square we have 4 and we plus b which is already found minus 1 over 9 and we times 0 minus 2 squared which is 4 and we add c times 0 plus 1 is 1 0 minus 2 is minus 2 and for d already found which is 2 over 9 and we times 0 plus 1 which is 1 and this can be simplified so we have 0 again on the left and on the right we have 4a minus 4 over 9 plus 2 over 9 obtain minus 2 over 9 and we have plus minus minus 2c which means that 4a minus 2c is equal to 2 over 9 if let's say we don't like fraction we can times 9 divided by 2 since all of them also even number so 4 times 9 divided by 2 is equal to 18 so we have 18a and we minus 2 times 9 divided by 2 which is 9 and we follow by c and this is equal to 1 so this is the first equation next i'm going to substitute when x is equal to 3 so left hand side we have 3 and for the right hand side a times 3 plus 1 is 4 3 minus 2 is 1 1 square will still be 1 and we plus b which is already found negative 1 over 9 and we times 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 1 square will still be 1 and we plus c times 3 plus 1 is 4 4 square is 16 and we times 3 minus 2 is 1 and plus d which is found 2 over 9 and we times 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 squared is 16. So this is equal to 3 equal to 4a plus minus minus 1 over 9 plus 16c plus 2, 16, 32 divided by 9. So which means that we have 3 is equal to 4a plus 16c minus 1 over 9 plus 32 over 9 which is plus 31 over 9 and we bring to the left so which means that 3 minus 31 divided by 9 we should obtain negative 4 over 9 and this is equal to 4a plus 16c again if let's say we don't like fraction we can find the entire thing by 9 over 4 so which means that we should have negative 1 is equal to 4 cancel with 4 so we have 9a and we plus 4 times 9 which is 36c and this is the equation 2. Since we have two equations with two unknowns which means that we can solve simultaneously either by substitution or elimination. I prefer the elimination so I'm going to take the second equation and times 2. So we should have 18a plus 72 c is equal to minus 2 and this is my equation 3 i'm going to copy the first equation here so 18 a minus 9 c is equal to 1 and let minus so we have 18 a minus 18 a which is 0 72 minus minus 9 which means that we have 72 plus 9 which is 81 and we have c here so this is equal to minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 3 in other words c is equal to negative 3 divided by 81 which is minus 1 over 27 next to obtain a i'm going to take the first equation and times 4 so we have 72 a minus 36 c is equal to 4 this is the fourth equation and let's copy the second equation and put it here so we have 9 a plus 36 c equal to minus 1 since our intention is to eliminate c for this time 1 is minus 1 is plus so we should use addition for this time so we have 72 a plus 9 which is 81 a minus 36 plus 36 is equal to 0 and this is equal to 
4 plus minus 1, which is 3, which means that A is equal to 1 over 27. For the final step, let's substitute all the values that we obtain into the fractions. So we have A, which is 1 over 27, and other words, we have 1 over 27 times x plus 1. B is negative, so we have minus 1 over 9 times x plus 1 squared. C is negative as well, so minus 1 over 27 times x minus 2. And lastly, for D, we have 2 over 9 times x minus 2 squared. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.